we've got nearly 150 pupils now on roll. All the children in our school have got a statement of special educational needs. Well, the first project we decided to do was to go down to the millings and play some d disabled sports. When we go to the care home, we play games like the balloon bum turn. Five, one, two, team one. We have a good laugh usually. <laughs> Trying to get one another with the balloon. <laughs> People in the care home are just like big kids. It's very good fun. I really like it. It's nice to be with young people. We don't let the kids get away with it. <laughs> we try as hard as we can to win. <laughs> the pledge that we made for the care home, I, I think has given a huge empathy between our pupils and the residents. And the link is fantastic. It links, us, it links the residents into the community, the things that are going on. Because I think we're very chatty and stuff. <laughs> chatty and playful. I used to go to dances when I was young. I used to love dancing. They are the children and the residents love having them. The second pledge was riding our bikes around the school. It was Mo Moby toward the front, so we had like loads of bikes and we rode round the field and through the farm. Ever joined in. There's um, disabled bikes for the people who's like less able. We just did as many laps as we could. I did about two. <laughs> the Tour de France event was very cross-curricular and as the pupils lapped miles around the school and through the farm, they logged those on a route mapper and it came to near enough 190 kilometres, which was the Yorkshire, our area stage of the Tour de France. I felt proud. Gets you involved in something that you might feel good, good about. And it's all come from the pupils. And to see their teamwork, their pleasure in it being successful, I think has been a massive achievement. <laughs> <laughs>